There's another movie that came out this week. It was called Divergent. Now, I have to say that I never, it's a novel. It's, it's a movie that's based on a novel. And unlike, or in contrast to Veronica Mars, which I, I know that was, was um, it had a following uh, before the movie came out. This one has a following too, I suppose, but I wasn't really bonded to these characters the way I was automatically bonded to Veronica Mars' character. Although the Veronica Mars character, there was a little montage at the beginning of the film that kind of caught you up. If you hadn't seen the film, if you weren't a fan, you kind of knew what it was about. With this film, you know, it started from the beginning. It's a uh, post-apocalypse Chicago. So I have to tell you right away, the cinematography was beautiful. You're going to enjoy just looking at this beautiful thing on the screen. Well, not beautiful thing, but... Uh, the scenery, the green screening, I'm sure, you know, but the cinematographer did a great job with the green screening and the special effects because it looks like in the future. It looks like it's supposed to be, I think, year 2164, and it looks like it. Um, you're going to enjoy Kate Winslet. Everybody knows her from Titanic. And then Kate Winslet, if you, if you have time, kind of look at some of her body of work. She has so much good stuff out there. Um, also, that handsome Mackay uh, Pfeiffer is in it. Um, he was in 8 Mile, the Eminem movie years ago, and Maggie Q is in it. Maggie Q was, um, she was in a Die Hard movie with Bruce Willis. She played a kick behind, a kick, you know what, ASS. She played a kick butt uh, superhero helping Bruce Willis conquer these uh, terrorists. You know, um, some of you might remember her from that. She's in a lot of other movies too, James Bond movies. She's really, she's great. Shailene Woodley also played a television character called Amy in a series called The Secret Life of an American Teenager. Some of you might know her from that, okay, because she was such an appealing teenager. She's, she's a nice, you know, beautiful girl. A lot of you will, will remember her from that, but if you don't, it's okay. You're going to be introduced to her in this movie, and she does a good job. I just have to say again, I just, it was hard for me to get into these characters. Uh, I know it was a very popular novel, but for whatever reason, I wasn't as bonded to, to these characters. You know, you look at it, maybe maybe you'll differ. Maybe you'll enjoy it more. I, I, I kind of had a hard time getting into the characters. However, the cast was so appealing, I had to watch it. Like I said, all of these stars, um, all these familiar faces, that, that brought me into the picture. So, um, Divergent, see it. Um, again, three stars, five being the best, one being the poorest. Until next time, until we meet again, God bless. Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay.